What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Having heard the first Christmas song while walking into a store very recently, I decided that this was a perfect time to maybe talk a little bit about potential gifts for be it husband, brother, son, boyfriend, whatever, gift ideas for the holidays. I've seen a bunch of videos like this and I've always thought, well, what would I, you know, what would I suggest just putting out into the ether for gifts that I think would be cool, that are mostly inexpensive, I think, uh, really? Yeah, almost all of these things are under $100. Some can get more expensive depending on stock and availability, where you buy them, but all of them would make either good stocking stuffers, you know, small gifts, or just putting you on the right path. Gun guys can be pretty specific. If you don't know anything about firearms and you don't want to ask your significant other, br uh, boyfriend, brother, sister, whoever the gun person is in your life, uh, exactly what type of firearm they have or optic system or whatever, most of these uh, suggestions will work for most people. So, <clears throat> let's see, where do I want to start? Um, Nalgene bottles. So I know this isn't really a gun guy thing, however, you can never have enough water storage solutions. These average about $20. You can get them in all sorts of different colors. They have different cap sizes, overall sizes. Uh, these make great, you can put stuff in them if you want to build out like a little fire making kit, put some lighters in there, um, stuff like that. Maybe a bivy bag, space blanket, like a, a mini survival kit. So you could have this, you know, you could just put this whole thing right in your car. You got uh, shelter, fire making, and water collection all in one device. However you want to go about it, uh, Nalgene bottles are a great proven method. Piggybacking off of that, this is the Go Time Gear, Go Time Gear Life Tent get the glare on that. So the life tent, I think these are about 20 bucks. It's a two person tent. I got mine in yellow. Uh, it's got some paracord with inner strands and a little whistle on the top. Basically it's that, you know, mylar construction colored space age material that reflects a bunch of your body heat back. Again, these are about $20. They're great for a gift for people that travel a lot or you live in cold climates. That is a great option as well. Again, 20-ish eh, dollars. You can buy them in multi-packs, save a little bit of money if you want to give them to multiple people. They come in a box, so if you want to wrap it, you can wrap it, or you can take it out of the package it, uh, packaging and use it as a stocking stuffer. So, firearms are extremely specific to the person and whatnot, but in the United States, there's a pretty good chance that if you are a firearm owner, you, you know, like one in five, probably more than one in five, probably three in five, have at least a Glock pattern firearm or a Stanag pattern firearm. So either a nine mil 40, 45, 10 mil Glock or a 5.56, 223. This is just a standard uh, GI pattern Brownells mag, I believe, Brownells mag. And this is a Glock nine mil uh, Gen 5 magazine. So, you know, most, if you know the person's pistol of choice uh, or whatnot, usually they're anywhere from 30, 25 to $50 per magazine. If they don't have a bunch of these, that's a great option. And with the GI pattern magazines, these are about 10 to $15. There's also a Magpul Lancer. If you really love the person, you should get them Lancer mags if they're a, an AR or rifle person. These are a great upgrade, however, I don't think they would be upset getting just the standard Stanag pattern magazine. Ammunition, if you know what type of ammo they shoot, uh, a couple boxes of ammo, be it ma uh, match grade, or if you can talk to one of their friends and find out if there's a specific type of match grade or very premium ammo. So for me, last year I asked for 77 grain OTMs and 69 grain OTMs from Black Hills and I actually received them, which was a an awesome gift so especially now with them being very difficult to source so you could get them a couple boxes of ammo or maybe a gift card and say this is for ammo uh, however you want to go about doing it if you don't feel comfortable purchasing ammo or you don't know where to get good ammo so and unfortunately due to 
um, guidelines on YouTube. I can't link, I'm pretty sure this is correct, I can't directly link firearms, parts, or ammunition. I can tell you where I've purchased ammo from before uh, using sites like Lucky Gunner, Brownells, Primary Arms, things of that nature. However, if you have a sporting goods store or a local gun store around you, they can probably help you out if you give them a call or stop in and ask a couple questions. So, This is a personal bias of mine, but a lot of people don't focus on medical gear. These are our soft T-wide tourniquets. These are roughly, I want to say 20 $25 a piece. Uh, if, if you purchase them from any like reputable dealer, do not buy tourniquets. Again, do not buy tourniquets or life-saving medical equipment off of Amazon. Please use the resources I've supplied in the links below. Things like Chinook Medical or uh, Dark Angel Medical. I think Dark Angel has a deal. Uh, they have 25% off sales going pretty regularly, so you can get four of these for about 100 bucks. Um, also, the Cat Gen 7, which I don't have out. Uh, the Cat Gen 7 is also a fantastic option. So, uh, tourniquets, pretty much the only two that I recommend. Soft T Wide and the Cat Gen 7. Maybe I'm rolling a picture of it here so you can see what it looks like. And do not pay more than, I don't know, like 35, 40 bucks for them. And again, we don't buy them from Amazon. Okay, next, a headlamp. If your significant other or person spends a lot of time outside at night, a headlamp is a very great, uh, cheap and inexpensive way for that person to do whatever they're doing outside in the dark. It's a great emergency item that they can put in their vehicle. They're low cost, inexpensive, very, very useful, and usually they run on AAAs. The two cheap options that I recommend to people are the Black Diamond Astro, which is the one that I'm showing here. Uh, it runs on a, you can also get a rechargeable pack for it, but it runs on a triple stack of AAA batteries. I think these, again, are about $20. The alternative would be the Princeton Tech. Princeton Tech makes one for $20. It is called the Byte, B-Y-T-E. Um, we're on a picture of it right here. So, a headlamp, most people can find a use for it, or it would be great for a vehicle. I've found uh, many uses for headlamps uh, running around in the dark at night and shooting. If they're not a night person, maybe skip past that. Next. Oh, a Leatherman. So, most gun guys, um, whether they're knife guys or tool guys or not, can find some use for a Leatherman. This is the Leatherman Wave. It's a standard plier designed uh, multi-tool and it's got all sorts of neat tools on it uh, saw uh, blade screwdriver can opener things of that nature even if uh, they don't intend on carrying one of these things if you bought uh, that person something like this they might find some extreme utility out of it and these are about hmm, 90 to 100 dollars very very useful and a great gift option as well you can get them laser engraved if you purchase from their website if you want to put a little you know i love you sweetums or schnooky or whatever your pet name is you can put that right on there the leatherman wait okay where were my other examples i done lost them already ah here we go i think most uh gun guys gear guys have issues with storage so i'm kind of rolling these uh, next couple options together and then I'll give you two more and I'll be done. So these are Magpul DACA pouches. They come in a couple different colors and a couple different sizes. They're just a zippered waterproof pouch. I think these are about $20, $25. Uh, you can use them. They have ones with windows so you can see in and see the contents. They make great document uh, pouches for uh, your vehicle if you put them in your glove box keeps everything nice and organized as well as water repellent and I, I, I don't think they're waterproof but it does look like there is a um, DWR some sort of liner to keep water from getting inside of these they make great cleaning pouches so you can put firearms cleaning supplies in it so it's not going to leak out all over your range bag uh, this is the gray medium sized DACA pouch D-A-K-A -A. again I'm putting all the names so you can uh, type them in great option as well as mtn ammo crates 
This might be one of the best single gifts you can get a gun guy because they can probably find a use for a ammo can. The, there's a couple different kinds. These are the ones that you can stick magazines inside of. However, there are some that are just open cavities so you can pour ammo, put uh, loose boxes, or whatever you want inside of them. They come in multiple different sizes, multiple different uh, capacities. But uh, ammo cans, you could even put the stuff in this and give the, you know, you know wrap this and then give the whole thing to them. Um, so yeah, the MTN uh, ammo can, great option. As well as general targets and uh, miscellaneous, you know, um, things to shoot at. You can get a pack of these. I think these are B, so these are B40s, these are B16s. I think a whole pack of these is about 15, 10, 15 bucks. I think I picked these up at Cabela's. However, you know, yeah, there's multiple different uh, places that you can purchase them from, from varying different prices. Something to shoot at is always useful, so we're not just shooting at trash. As well as uh, there are cheap Caldwell steel uh, targets, torso targets, and circle targets. You can usually pick them up at Walmart. Uh, Amazon.com probably has them for roughly 30 to $50 a target if you wanna kinda of step it up. But paper for most applications will work for most people. So I've, mo I've mainly gone over gun people. However, there are some people that are very into knives. I was going to include some knife maintenance or um, firearm maintenance tools as well. Maybe I'll do a part two with another uh, section of this. I do want to keep my knife people in the loop. If your husband's a really, or whoever it is, is a very large knife dude, something like a precision sharpening system or something that is not just running a whetstone or maybe paying someone to sharpen their knives may be a great deal. So this is the this is the WorkSharp Precision Adjust uh, Knife Sharpener. Essentially it is a, a base with a clamp. You put the knife in the clamp, you take this rod, and it allows you to have a fixed angle for sharpening. This might be one of the better sharpening options other than the Spyderco Sharp Maker, which I think is a, also a great deal. I'm rolling a picture of that right now. These are about $70. You can pick them up at most sporting goods stores or online. They have different uh, abrasives that you can sharpen with. I, I would say this is probably one of the better overall picks for a knife dude. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe, but I've put mirror edges with just these three stones on things. They do also have a larger kit. I think it's over a little bit over $100 that has extra like sh straps and, and stuff for getting a very, very refined edge. However, I've had no issue using just the included three stones. So, all right. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my uh, gift giving season um, suggestions for gear guys, gun guys, and knife guys. I might do a part two of this because there's a lot of stuff that I'd like to talk about. However, I just wanted to get something together. I know if you want to get your husband gear stuff, take suggestion. You know, if they're talking about things that they'd like over the course of the year, maybe write that down. Keep a, keep an eye on it. If you're text messaging, make a note and uh, or search your text messages. There's ways to get creative with gift giving. All right, guys, that's my uh, gift suggestions for Christmas uh, 2023. So, all right, that's it. Quick video. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. And remember, in the you know, it's not about materialism. It's not about who got you the best gift. If you want to get your person something that you know they will enjoy, obviously, um, this is just some ideas. So, you. Uh, Remember to not be all about the material items and just keep keep things in uh, perspective. So, yeah, the world's a, the world's a crazy place. So, you know, don't take anything for granted and just uh, appreciate what you get regardless. So.